In 2007, the whole football world was shocked. A team 99% of people had never heard of, a small FCS team, Michigan fans for sure thought that they would win. A team from Boone, North Carolina, located on the Appalachian Mountain Trail, in the tiny college city of Boone, the Mountaineers marched up to Ann Arbor to take on the number two ranked team in the nation, the Michigan Wolverines. All odds against them. Even the Mountaineers didn't know how to overcome them. So all they could do is go out there and play. And that's what they did. Coach Jerry Moore, in his 16th year, knew this was the toughest he'd ever had faced. At halftime, the Mountaineers, only by a miracle, were leading 28 to 17. Ready to take the field, they had momentum. Complete momentum. By the fourth quarter, the game was so close, App lines up and hits a field goal, a chip shot, making it 34 to 32. Now, on the final drive of the game, a deep pass is caught by a Michigan wide receiver, and now Michigan is in field goal range. Six seconds left on the clock, a timeout is called, play is stopped, and Michigan lines up for a field goal. A 37-yarder it is. Watch as the moment in history will unveil right in front of your eyes. Hold of Mesco. Good snap. Good hold. And the kick is blocked. Appalachian State has stunned the college football world. One of the greatest upsets in sports history. Yeah, so about that. After the 2007 season, the Appalachian State Mountaineers went on to win their last FCS championship. So through 2005 to 2007, the Mountaineers won the FCS championship. So that's a three-peat. So since their 2007 defeat over Michigan, their total record was 13-2, and two, including their FCS championships and semifinals and everything. After the Mountaineers flirting with a ton of FCS success in championships, like making it to the quarterfinals two times and the semis one time, they actually decided it would be best for their program. In 2012, they decided they wanted to make the switch and they wanted to be in the FBS. So in 2013 and 14, they were actually ineligible for any sort of bowl game and they were not eligible for any sort of postseason. So in 2015, they make their first bowl game and it's the Camellia Bowl, I believe that's how you say it, and they actually won. So since 2015 up to 2017, they have actually been 3-0 in bowl games. In 2015, they had some tough opponents, including Clemson, which was number 12 at the time, and Wyoming with Josh Allen, who was actually a very high pick in this year's NFL draft. App State has had so much, so much success, and it's been way uphill since their defeat of Michigan. They've had many tough opponents and many more to come. So their past difficult opponents since Michigan, they had LSU, Florida, Virginia Tech, Georgia, Michigan, Clemson, Wyoming, Miami, Tennessee, Wake Forest. And one week ago at the time I in making this, Penn State. Out of conference opponents, they have a very tough schedule, including North Carolina, South Carolina, Wisconsin, Wake Forest, Texas A&M, Miami, and Wyoming. That is through 2019 to 2024. So you might be wondering, what completely happened to App State after defeating Michigan? Well, a ton of FCS success still, and this actually led them to a berth at being an FBS team, and that has now come true. They are now in the Sun Belt Conference. So, since 2005 up to 2017, they have had incredible records. They have had, get this, one losing season in the past... 12 years. So in 2005, they went 12 and 13. 2006, 14 and 1. And through 07 to 2010, they lost 11 games but won the rest. And that is actually such a good margin. Now, 2011 through 2014 wasn't their strongest. The most wins they got in those four seasons was eight. And in 2013, that was their worst year in the past more than a decade when they went 4-8. and eight. And it has been completely uphill since 2015. 
They've scheduled very tough FBS opponents, which of course now they're in the FBS, but these are Power 5 teams other than Wyoming that excel and that are amazing at college football. 2015, they went 11 and 2, won the Camellia Bowl. In 2016, they went 10 and 3, also won the Camellia Bowl, which they had a very tough schedule playing Miami and almost knocking off Tennessee that year. 2017, they went 9 and 4, not the best season, but absolutely killed Toledo 31 to nothing in the Dollar General uh, Bowl. And that year they played Georgia and Wake Forest. So they had a pretty tough schedule. So the rise of Appalachian has been rapidly inclining. And it doesn't look like it's going to stop anytime soon as they have very tough opponents coming in the near future. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video about the rise of Appalachian State football. It's only going up from here. Trust me. I'm hoping I can go to a game soon because I actually kind of live close to Boone. But yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You know, I'm trying to upload more with school starting. It's kind of hard. But this was Shape Cobalt. I'll see y'all later, guys. Peace. Walk in the bank, got a meal to deposit. Uh, $100,000 on the net fee, flat fee. $100,000 on the walkthrough check, please. I made the sauce and they ran with the recipe. Ran with the recipe.